Well, I went looking for this restaurant that was supposed to have the best lamb chops in all of Athens, and Google Maps took me to a place that didn't exist. <laughs> I hope you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday and that you're loading up on leftovers today. This is going to be the last video in our Athens series, but be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next adventure. I went looking for this restaurant that was supposed to have the best lamb chops in all of Athens and Google Maps took me to a place that didn't exist. <laughs> I mean, I guess the place exists. Yeah, that's, that's no restaurant there. But there is one in front of me, so let's go check that one out. It is called... Platano's Family Restaurant, and it's been open since 1932, so can't be too bad. sitting here in the shade at Taverna Platanos. They've been open since 1932. I just ordered a lettuce salad and some fresh sea bream. The lettuce salad, it's, it's, it's just that, it's lettuce. <laughs> so let's, let's see what the, the dressing tastes like. But. <laughs> it's your standard olive oil and vinegar. It's light on the vinegar, which I appreciate. I like how it's cutting these nice, long, thin strips. We got this awesome looking sea bream here this plate cost 14 euros that salad that we had earlier it was uh, four euros 40 cents this place looks to cook a pretty damn good fish so let's let's dig in mm. oh that is good that has the perfect amount of oil and saltiness. Just, oh. mm. It's not too fishy flavored. Uh, you, know, you get a little bit of that, uh, of that fish flavor, but you know, it, it's, it's the part that you want. It, you definitely. You're missing all of the stuff that can make fish a little bit overwhelming and overpowering. So let's go for a nice, good sized chunk here. You get a lot of bones in this fish for sure, but they're, 
They're decent size. They're not like pinhead bones like you get in salmon. But I think I, I don't know, there's a lot more there. Mm. Oh man, that is the best white fish I've ever had. This, this fish is phenomenal. You know, they say some things happen for a reason. They were out looking for for the best lamb chops in, in Athens, and I think we probably found the best fish. Mm. Mm, so good. It doesn't even need the lemon. That's the best part about it. So much fish. You need you need to add lemon, but on this on this one it's just garnish. The skin's just crispy, and then the softness of the flesh is absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but there seems to be a dog fight down the street. <laughs> uh, the things you run into in Greece. The tomatoes here in Greece are absolutely unbelievable too. Look at the color of that. One thing's for sure, once this fish is gone, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be legitimately sad. So good. If you like the video, like, subscribe. Every once in a while, these places in Greece, they like to... To when you're done eating and you get the check they like to bring you out a little something to change the flavor a little portion of yogurt and honey and we all know that yogurt and honey and grease is a great mixture so good I just can't get over how good the honey is here in Greece. It's, it's unlike any anywhere I've ever had honey before. But come check this place out. Uh, all the information's down in the description. Come to Athens and eat amazing food as much as you can. recent series that we have playing right now on Tasting Travel. And down here is another video that you might be interested in. Click right here to subscribe if you already have. And if you're in Seattle,